decided the problem we'd focus on would be disease. So we thought we'd come up with a game where our goal is you're a player and you have a friend. Are you? Yeah, you're are you? All right. You so you have a friend that has a disease and your goal is to cure him. And you'll do that by finding various, uh, uh, I guess, ingredients for a vaccine set throughout the map of the game. And by collecting all like four or five parts, you can then bring them to your friend to cure him. And then along the way, there'll be various obstacles, um, such as like as the things that you have to like punch or go through some mazes and stuff like that. And then as a side little concept, we thought because technology itself is one another problem that we're dealing with, like people not interacting with each other, and because this is an arcade game, it's kind of like defeating the purpose, but we thought we'd decrease the problem a little bit by making a multiplayer game. So you'd have a partner that you would be working with and interacting with as you play to get rid of that problem. Yeah. We thought that we would do ours on like CO2 and global warming. And so our idea was making this like big arcade box game that you see in like all those videos and pictures and having like a tower defense game where it's like the CO2 pollution and pollutants are like going through the map and you make like towers out like solar panels and windmills to try and stop them and you get like points like for killing them or I don't know what you do. Killing? I don't know, whatever, getting rid of the <laughs> pollution. First thing the CO2. Yeah. And that's it. So is this a computer game then? It's or? like an arcade, like I guess computer game. Okay. Well, Except so, it's gonna be like part of that box. Got it. So we got like buttons and stuff that you can press. Bloods without being bogged right. down. Oh. Drugs. Great. Cool. Thank you. Any feedback for that? Uh, me, Danny, Sam, uh, Team Cap, Nip Phillips. <laughs> um, so uh, we basically came up with two ideas for a game. Um, game one is a game where. You, you play as a square who hates every shape, and throughout the game you start meeting other shapes, and that, and when you continue on the game meeting these shapes, the, the square starts to get used to the shape. It's more of a narration um, game as you play along. And the second game is a three-player co-op game, uh, where you play as a mermaid, a unicorn, and a gnome fighting ogres who are contaminating and polluting your uh, ecosystem, and they fight back and turn them into pixies. Alright, so our group, me, Kyler, Cooper, Luke, Jack, and Rocka, decided to do a game on, like, pollution and trying to stop pollution and also, uh, planting trees. So what we have is we have pollution and you're trying to find an air filter to, uh, make a small filtered space and then plant a tree and then grow a forest to stop all the radiation from happening. Yeah. Um, great. And then as you go along, you start, like, the longer you take uh, solving problems and stuff, the more you uh, take damage and so slowly you'll get over radiated and then have to start over. Right. So. So there's a time limit and like a health level. Yeah, and also it's a uh, multiplayer, so there can be like multiple people trying to solve problems. So uh, it's me, Riley, and Cameron, and we're the physical group. So we're going to make a claw, which is going to distribute hunger. We're going to have a pile of like food, and we'll distribute it to areas or regions that have lesser food. Just super simple. Yeah.